another round of rationalization of tax rates is on the cards. The center is looking to convene a meeting of the goods and services tax or GST council in early January. Besides rate rationalization, a correction of the inverted duty structure is also expected. Inverted duty structure is when inputs for a product are taxed at a higher rate than the outgoing product itself. At the 45th GST council meeting in Lucknow on September 17th, the council had set up a group of ministers headed by Karnataka chief minister Basavraj Bommai to look at the possibility for rate rationalization and correction of the inverted duty structure. The GOM's report is expected to be finalized before the January meeting of the GST Council. We may also see more talks on merging one or two tax slabs. These recommendations were recently made with the National Institute of Public Finance and Policy, a finance ministry backed think tank. The study suggests that the government can rationalize the GST rate structure without losing revenues by rejigging the four major rates of 5%, 12%, 18%, and 28%. With a three rate framework of 8%, 15%, and 30%. The study estimates that if the GST rate structure, prevailing at its onset in July 2017, was restored last year, additional GST revenues of nearly 1.25 lakh crore rupees could have accrued in 2020 21. In fact, at the last GST Council meeting in September, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman had pointed out that multiple rate changes since the onset of GST in 2017 had lowered the revenue neutral rate from the original 15.5% to 11.6%. Let us go to some experts to understand what they expect from the next GST Council meeting. Uh, there are two groups of ministers that are likely to uh, submit reports. The first group of ministers is going to suggest a roadmap for the short and medium term changes in the GST rate structure. The first group of ministers uh, would in fact, look at items which are exempted uh, under the GST regime or merging of the tax slab rates. And the second group of ministers uh, is going to look at uh, other issues with respect to technology and improving the compliances, which will include monitoring uh, through improved e-way systems, e-invoices, the fast tag data system. Now, the first group of ministers uh, has a very crucial task for a variety of reasons. Number one is the what should be the revenue neutral rate. So if you go back into the design of the GST system, the revenue neutral rate at that point in time was pegged around 15, 15 and a half percent. But that was as the rate that applied in 2017. Now, over the years, as you know, the GST rates have come down. Obviously, that's not affordable and hence the rate has to go up. Now, how do you really push this 11% rate to what was the revenue neutral rate at the time of the introduction of the GST law, which was 15 to 15.5%? You either take this 5 and 12% rate beyond the 5 and 12% rate or you look at from a five slab structure to a three slab structure. At this stage, we have to just bear in mind that the rationalization of rates in GST is in some ways an ongoing exercise because we can't possibly have a situation over the next few years where we say that all rates for all products and services are perfect and no further changes are required. We are still in the evolutionary stage of GST because GST as of now is just going to be around five years old and possibly therefore there would be certain products and certain services where we may need, need rate tweaks either basis the present situation or basis some other changes which have happened in that sector or in that particular business. So it is going to be a little ongoing. The expectation is that it should not become too frequent. We also hope that the GST Council will look at the issue in respect of the compensation cess and take steps to ensure that the compensation cess, if it is increased beyond 1st of July 2022, as seems inevitable now, the period of the increase is kept as minimum as possible. We can therefore expect an increase in the GST rates or a merger of slabs so that the average GST rate would inch closer to the revenue neutral rate. With the GST regime completing 4.5 years, it may be time to consider an overhaul of the rate structure for the long term. But the industry must be given sufficient time to incorporate any such changes. 
we cannot risk destabilizing the GST system right when the economy is bouncing back. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.